Hi, as Randy mentioned, my name is Clint Cook. I work with Ultra Stereo Laboratories. Um, here we go. Um, Unlike uh, Michael's and Doremi's, we uh, use infrared energy to transmit our captions and our hearing impaired and visual narration. Um, we've been making uh, hearing impaired devices since the ATA laws came in, in, into effect. Uh, I think it was late 80s, wasn't it? Yeah. 80. Okay. Okay. Um, the seat mounted capture receiver is very similar to the Doremi version. Um, uh, again, ours just uses infrared energy instead of Wi Fi. Uh, sits in a cup holder with an adjustable gooseneck so the patron can maneuver it any way they want. Um, with, uh, with infrared energy IR, there's no reason or there's no need to um, set each one of the receivers for a certain frequency for individual auditorium so the patron or the device can go into any auditorium in your facility without having to be uh, set up for that certain auditorium. Um, standard batteries are provided with it. They'll run up to around 36 hours. There is capability of putting rechargeable batteries in it and charging it with a mini USB port. We also have uh, captionware glasses. They're lightweight. Um, they are adjustable. The nose bridge, the tilt, the whole shot. Um, we did a monocular um, version of the glasses, which means the captions are only in one eye. But the paw that has it in there is removable, and you can turn it around and put it into the other eye. So it, uh, we did that actually on purpose because one of my brothers could only see out of his left eye. So if we showed his left eye, it wouldn't work for him. So. Um, we have a language selection button um, up to six languages. So whatever language comes with the DCP, you can go ahead and pick. Um, battery hours again, and the optional rechargeable kit. Our headsets are two-channel, um, volume control for each ear because certain people's hearing is a little better in one ear than the other. They are T-coil compatible, which means that they'll work with any T-coil hearing aid automatically. Um, the two-channel switch on the headset so the patron can pick up either the visual narration or the hearing impaired channels. And again, auditorium selection is not required because of the IR energy. Um, actually, it says four languages on there. That's incorrect. It is actually six. We just changed that a little while ago. Um, basically, the mirror panel, which you'll see on the bottom, is laying flat right there, stays in the back of the auditorium, and we aim it at the screen. The effort energy then bounces off the screen back at the patrons. So it doesn't really matter where they're sitting in the auditorium, they're going to get hit with infrared energy and the devices will function properly. Um, the technology of infrared energy or infrared diodes is, um, the efficiency has increased dramatically over the last decade or so. Uh, a panel that used to cover just a 250 seat auditorium now will probably go up to a 700, 800 seat auditorium. The, the diodes are that much more efficient. Uh, it's part of the reason we stuck with infrared energy. Um, let me repeat myself on that right there. We recommend the hearing impaired, even though there, it can come from the server, we recommend that you still take it from the uh, output of the processor. That way all the trailers and everything else is in there. Um, if your sound processor doesn't have a visual narration input, we have a little small box that we can provide for you. Uh, very inexpensive. It's a little two-channel DAA converter. Um, we are 3D and high frame rate uh, compatible. Uh, the 3D glasses can be worn over or underneath our caption uh, word glasses. Um, high frame rates again, uh, not, not an issue. Um, we are safety compliant. I know Michael's stuff, or any stuff, is capable um, of their proprietary, but also for safety. We stuck with SEMTI from the very beginning. Um, we would, uh, USL again will provide a proprietary list of the different languages that are on the DCP. There's a little switch, a little red button you push to get to whatever language it is that you desire or require. Um, and again, that four, I should have changed to six, but uh, goofed up. <laughs> the 
Caps from our glasses, you can use sanitizing wipes, but that little pod I told you about that popped out and turned around, you can remove that and you can run the glasses through a dishwasher like 3D glasses. So the sanitary issue is not a problem with that. Um, the, the headset that you see there on the left has, does have removable ear pads. Um, we recommend, as you know, Michael said, that if there's, they can have the patron bring their own headsets in. We've had multiple, multiple people call us up and just buy the headsets themselves when they bring them to and from their, the theater that they frequent the most. So if I, I would have done the same thing if I needed them. So. Um, and we have multiple languages, even canine.